Hey guys, my name is Corbin with Kinsler Construction Services. I'm a uh, salesman project manager for Kinsler. Uh, today we're just going to talk about uh, how to insulate your home and, and the options that Kinsler can give you uh, to insulate your homes and kind of depending on your budget, uh, what are your best options and the best way we can save money um, and also some trouble areas that we can also uh, take care of for you. So today we're kind of standing in front of, uh, this would be kind of our, uh, it's going to be the most budget friendly um, cheapest option that Kinsler is going to uh, offer to you. Uh, this is a fiberglass bat insulation. Um, ideally, this is a two by six cavity, so we can fit a piece of R19 to R21 piece of batting. Um, the thing with this one is, uh, and we'll talk about bibs and spray foam uh, here in a second, but uh, with these, um, this is a, it's more of an air, air filtered insulation. It doesn't stop the air, but it will help filter the insulation. So in this, in this area, this is actually a garage that we're standing in right now. Um, we have decided to go with a fiberglass bat insulation and then we'll also add a poly, four mil poly on top of this as well. So air does infiltrate through this, but this is a great, um, more as a budget friendly insulation. Um, doesn't do uh, the air barrier or uh, stop the air from flowing through it, uh, but is a great insulator inside your cavity. Now, uh, what, what we're going to talk about, we'll talk about bibs and spray foam as well, but Ideally, the way it's installed, you can tell it's not perfectly, gonna be perfectly flush. Ideally, we wanna insulate it on all six sides of the cavity. Um, so as you'll see in the other video, you're gonna see some bibs option where it'll look a little more prettier than, than this fiberglass bat. But this is one great option uh, to insulate with, with Kinsler. All right, so here is, this is going to be our bibs options, which I'll kind of open this up so you guys can see it. But um, so here with the bibs, we kind of spoke about that a little bit in the other video. We do have batting here as well to kind of see the comparison. Um, so with the bibs, it's kind of a cool scenario where our guys are going to hang. Uh, we have a Kinsler netting, uh, not the poly. There is a netting underneath this that holds uh, the insulation. So what they're going to do is they're going to they have a hose in a in a big truck and they're going to put the hose in and they're going to fill that cavity full with a dense pack. Uh, kind of what you can tell from here is it is a lot uh, cleaner insulated um, look and also dense packs on all six sides of the cavity. There's not really much compared to the bat where the guy has to you know you are manually installing the piece of insulation. Um, compared to this one where it just naturally kind of forms to the cavity. Um, so with this one, this, this gets you about an R24 compared to about an R19, uh, 21 that we can put inside of a two by six cavity. Um, so the bibs is another great option. It's gonna create a little bit, it's not gonna give you the air barrier um, in this sort of sense, but it's gonna give you a better R value and a better dense pack in your cavity. Also create a better seal in your home as well. Okay, so our last option is going to be an open and a closed cell spray foam. Um, open cell is an awesome insulator um, application. Um, the great thing about that is it is an air barrier insulation, so it doesn't allow air to flow through it. So the heat that you're heating your house with is going to stay in your home, um, and it doesn't allow air to come in from the outside. Uh, so that a lot of good areas, we do have some homes that we insulate the full homes, um, and that is great, um, and, and it's a great insulator, but sometimes you can get over budget on your project. Um, so a lot of good times where we're going to use spray foam is in your rim joist, uh, in your rim joist, and then also behind any water lines or anything that could possibly freeze inside your home. Um, so sprinkler lines, water lines, uh, behind drain pipes, uh, or anything like that. So um, spray foam is is a great option to go. Um, it's a great applicator.